by yourself because it can be obnoxious to other people. But just sit there and watch television. Let your mind watch television while your hand goes G C G C G C G C G C because it's just to get that muscle memory. You've got them backwards. You've got those two fingers backwards. That C, yeah. G. Excellent. Excellent. You have learned a lot in your first lesson. I feel like I know a little something if I just wrap up. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a matter of sitting down and putting your fingers on it. Yeah. Can't quite make it come out sounding just right. But. That's okay. It's going to be fine. Put your fingers backwards. Oh. And you only play these bottom four when you're doing a C? Yeah, you play the bottom five when you do a C and an A. Okay, Alright, go to the C. Go to the C first. That's G. Now go to your C. Now take, take bird finger off. Watch me, watch me. Take bird finger off and flatten pointer finger. <laughs> That's lazy A. Right? Um, my thumb's going the other direction. Okay. Okay. And then, like that. Yeah, that's uh, A. Put, use pointer finger for those two strings. Yeah? And then what was D? G. Oh, G is D was without the. Okay. That's E. That's E minor. That was good. You're about to go play. Anyway. <laughs> we were playing it in um, Jingle Bells. Okay. So we're going for G again. G. To do D, just take it down, down toward the floor, one more string. D. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay, take your fingers off because you have achieved a heck of a lot in your first lesson, okay? <laughs> you have completed it. Okay, completed your first lesson. You learned five chords. And I want you to name them for me. You just watch me okay. do them. This is your quiz at the end. Okay. Chord is that? G. What is that? C. What chord is that? A. What chord is that? E. D. D. Okay. D. And then the last one we did was we did G like this and we took that finger off and that was E minor. E minor. Excellent. Excellent. So now your assignment is to just be watching okay. people's hands while they're playing the guitar and see if you can tell okay. what chord that is. Okay. okay? Because you've got you've got half of your chords now. You've got G, C, E minor, A, and D. That is so good. And unfortunately, there's no easy way to remember why is this called G, why is this called C, why is that called A, why is that called D, and why is that called E minor. I can't tell you. But they are. So all you got to do now is just watch people's hands so you can see it. And Cheryl, I'm going to take you on and. Uh, would you like to play um, Jingle Bells again? Sure. Okay. You are good at anticipating where the chords change. Now, so it's going to have G in it, it's going to have C in it, and D. Yes. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. See. Oh, what fun Back to it G is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. 
心。